Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing are absolutely fine. So guys, today I'll show you one interesting process by using NukeX and you guys can call this as clean plate or you guys can call it as object removal because today we'll remove this Simba character from this snap or you can call this JPEG. But guys, make sure in this, the, this process is actually called in production as a patch shift process. So you guys can call this as a clean plate or object removal, but basically it's a paint prep process okay so without wasting any time as I always say let's get started so guys um, as you guys already know that my channel recently crossed two years so congratulations and thank you all for giving support okay so first of all just import this footage here and then by pressing s on your keyboard just settings it like 1920 by 1072 which is the footage resolution and uh, this is the basic thing uh, now this is a footage like sorry it's not a footage this is actually a snap so no need to change your frame range it's by default 1 to 100 so leave it like that or you guys can make it like one by one so it's completely uh, one frame okay so this is basically a very easy way but uh, what you can you guys can make it by two ways one is make a P or like a road to paint node and then just start cloning like this so this is the way but in this way you can lose your so much details I'm pretty sure that uh, those guys are already working in production you guys never suggest this way so the actual way is I'm showing you right now okay so first of all by pressing a dot on your keyboard so just it will come a dot by dot then connect it like this so now it's actually become your like footage connection dot okay so we're using for this uh, method like transform mask for this and a simple roto node okay so by pressing tab we are using like transform mask so and then uh, by pressing O on your keyboard a roto node so before starting this I I'm just a level like what is transform mask and what is transform so when you press like T for transform you guys can see this is a transform node and this is a transform mask node so the basic difference is this these have some channels over here and in this have some, no channels okay so basic thing is transform mask can transform the mask area which you define from this uh, roto node like if you um uh, like mask some area by using this roto node the transform mask option or you can, can say the node can transform that mask area but the transform node can't do that transform node can transform the all the footage or all the areas so but in this way we can use this transform mask not the transform node so delete this transform node and then just continue with this transform mask option then just connect this pipe to this input pipe and the mask pipe should connect to the roto pipe uh, the roto node and then double click on your roto node and then just uh, start uh, drawing some master but, but guys make sure do not draw a big sh whole shape and then just transform it and uh, you will get your output this is not applicable for all the times but yes some very less time we, uh, we can make this thing and we can get uh, our output but uh, most of the time do not use that way uh, just use the specific parts and transform it and then you will get your proper output okay so just I'm just uh, doing it right now like this legs area so like this so I know this is a pretty big mask but I already done this before so it will not hamper your footage but guys before doing all the things R&D it every time so those guys didn't know what is R&D R&D is research and development so before starting your shot always do that R&D that where and how and which part you will do the first and which part you will do the last and the second option is like which part if you do the first <coughs> it will complete it very soon uh, so always to do that first and the rest of the part do after that okay then select it total and then press Z on your keyboard to smooth this and then E on your keyboard to make it feather up okay so now it's feathered out and you can adjust your feathers like this uh, it's completely up to you you guys can manually do it or simply select it and then press E so it will getting <coughs> bigger okay so now the mask is done now simply just connect to transform node by pressing one so now it's connected I'm just making it like this <coughs> and then simply what you have to do double click on your transform node now see there's an option is popping out okay so by pressing control and click here and then just drag and drop it over here like 
like average area like where is your transform it area then just leave it but if you don't click control it will not doing it in your proper way so basically we are changing the anchor point okay so then just select this and by pressing on shift and your keyboard like 8 is up 2 is down 4 is bell uh, you can cancel left and 6 is your right okay so this is uh, the navigation point but you can uh, move it from your mouse okay but i'm suggesting that move it by 4 8 6 and 2 okay so if you press shift and then just press 6 so see it's getting actually moving so it's only affected on this masked area so i'm not moving it completely because otherwise you can lose your quality just maintain these areas okay this is the merge area so maintain these areas like i am thinking like uh, this much is pretty good yeah this is fine now if you notice this this area and this area is a little blurred see this is little blurred but this is not too much blurred the reason is when you are using this transform master area the quality is little different and it's decreased so what you have to do for maintaining this quality just turn this filter to like riff man or you can use this since four or notch something like that but do not use a cubic so i am prefer riff man to make this quality you guys can't understand this in detail but yes it will increase your digital quality okay um so then what you have to do i remove this area so now the next thing how you have to remove this areas as well so how i'll do this so same thing i'm using this transform mask again and now i connect this not to this input i'm connected to this one because now this area is completely feel like as a jpeg so i remove something from this jpeg okay so now connect this transform mask to this and take a rotor node again and then connect it to like this pretty good and then simply just start drawing it again like i'm drawing it from this way okay the reason is do not draw only one sided okay it will same hamper your output then press z uh, sorry then press z and then e on your keyboards like this and then simply double click on your transform node by pressing control drag and drop it in this area now when you press control and drag you can exactly see your affected areas okay now i am seeing this is my affected area now leave it like this okay and then select it and then simply by pressing shift and now i am taking four because i am now changing the offsets like this so basically this is completely a offset removing and making your own clean plate now it's completely look like this now it's fine okay okay now this areas is left right now now when you see when you offset it you guys can already understand like this areas that these areas are exactly look like cloned okay so we'll fix fix this uh, after a few times because uh, this is another method uh, now we're removing this areas okay now again a transform mast connect it then simply a roto node then connect it to this and double click on this roto node and then simply draw it like this and like e on your keyboard just simply like this okay now <clears throat> transform it and connect it like this now i am moving this transform option to here like this is a different patch and this is a different patch so if i move it here so it will feel like it's completely cloned so i'm just pressing shift and uh, just uh, make it four so now drag it it like too much end okay now this is the end one so like now six it it's now it's fine i think yeah this is fine almost almost fine not too much now you can maintain your roto nodes and uh, make it more feather it out like this so that you can blend it properly now i'm doing it right now and it's actually best idea to make it actually blend okay so you guys can see this is already blended now these areas are left okay so again same thing transform mast oh, sorry double click transform mast roto node and then connect it like this now this is areas are absolutely like this now what i'll do select this press e then transform it connect it like here and then simply drag it to like this cool okay so now this is a small small patches which you can remove it in separate way now how i'll show you but before doing this i'm just showing you the uh what you can say the horizon line how you can make this so press again transform mast connect it press o and then just 
connected like this so now in this tutorial i will not show you in detail full just i will show you the basic idea that how you guys can remove it so if you wish you can uh, do it completely obviously if you wish not you will do okay so now make it like this fine cool it's done so now double click on it transform connect it like this and then drag and then yep it's it's good it's fine now how you can remove this patches right this is a different way uh, by using some cool tips you guys can remove this patches and this is the really easiest way so i'm just showing a few things and then i'll show them my exact output and the nodes how i did that so basically you have to take a uh, like roto paint node and connect it like this and then simply just paint it out <laughs> exactly that's why i told you guys it's a really simple way then just simply start cloning but yes do not clone like too much then uh, and then make sure the hardness should be zero so that you guys ca can't see any hard edges now clone it like this now when you clone always clone uh, like don't clone really close it should clone like this so what happened you guys can't see the patches like it's copy to copy like that now see this is kind of feel like it's a white kind of thing so what you can do you guys just take a roto node and then take a grid connect it like this and connect this mask to this and simply draw a simple a roto node here simply like this just to zoom it just press e smooth it and then you can grade it like like this now it's going darker sleek like this so by using this way you guys can see see some exact well, like few areas where you should feel like it should be a little darker or a little brighter something like that or now now see uh, this areas okay just just imagine like this is a really uh, this area so i'm just taking again a grid node connect it like this and simply take a roto node and connect this mask to this and now see i'm just taking this area like this okay see then press e and z like this and uh, move it like this cool and then double click on your grade and from here i'm just pick uh, this color now it's coming like this then go to r value and i'm just changing this colors like little like this and this one's sorry r from like g now see it's a little darker you guys can see see it in your individual channel and then b for blue channel and then simply make it like this now when all the colors are set go to normal no, no, see this is a normal color now what you can do you guys can simply seeing it like this dark it like this now the blue channel is little bit too much so i'm just decreasing this blue now the green is visible here now decreasing this green and like this then the red one as well so that you guys can feel like something is different there okay it's just kind of a cc process you guys can use it or you guys can't use like it's completely up to you it's a separate separate way now see these two patches are exactly look like same same thing you guys can make a roto paint node uh, sorry the roto paint node connect it like this and simply just simply clone it like this remove but make sure the hardness should be always zero so that it will not show any hard line feel like see cool right okay so i think you guys can already understand uh, like how i uh, did this and i'll show you right now my older script which i did this before now i'm just enable it and then let's connect it to here now see this is my exactly clean plate which i made and uh, then i'll show you the ima image now, to a so this i removed like this and when you click a merge here this is my difference like which areas is affected by using this comp okay so this is our one these are two okay so i hope guys you guys already know and you guys already learned that how i did this cool production tips and tricks like called patch shift process okay okay so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and you guys learned a lot from this video and if you learned a lot then don't forget to hit the subscribe button like button and don't forget to share this as much as you can in social networking side instagram facebook anywhere and yes keep following me on my facebook handle and instagram handle link is in description okay i'll see you in my next video till then have fun stay healthy and keep rocking vfx world